Nvidia has released a couple new GPUs, and AMD is winning awards. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. AMD has had quite the year in hardware so far, and it's almost completely thanks to their CPUs. Originally codenamed Summit Ridge, Ryzen 7 CPUs were officially unveiled back in February of this year. AMD's newest high-end chips brought unprecedented performance at an incredible price when compared to the competition. Even with their lowest-end Ryzen 7 CPU, a $330 chip was capable of easily competing against Intel's $1,000 beast. The price to performance ratio was simply unheard of, specifically when it came to heavily threaded workloads like video rendering or heavy CPU multitasking like playing a game while streaming, plus tons of other professional applications. The company was back, and consumers began clamoring for all things AMD. But that's just the high end. AMD continued to release more products with Ryzen 5, their mid-range CPUs that still push the envelope on price to performance with the 6-core 12-thread CPU for just $220. To top it off, as leaks began servicing and an actual product was eventually unleashed, we found out AMD wasn't done just yet by releasing an almost unbelievable 16-core enthusiast chip for content creators, business owners, and power users alike. All of these chips caused such a huge gap in performance to pricing ratio that Intel seemingly rushed their enthusiast line of products out the door to make a pushback. It was pretty clear they weren't prepared. Well, people have taken notice, specifically people who run award programs, as AMD won quite a few awards this year thanks to some of their hardware. For one, they were awarded the 2018 CES Best of Innovations Award for their Ryzen Threadripper 1950X 16-core processor in the computer and hardware category. Not only that, but AMD was named Best PC Brand, and Ryzen took home the Best PC Component Award from the Trusted Reviews Awards. It's also good to note that NVIDIA's 1080 Ti won Best GPU. Speaking of NVIDIA, the last bit of news for today has the company releasing two new GPUs. No, not Volta, unfortunately. Instead, there are a couple new mobile GPUs still based on Maxwell, yet seem to squeeze some of the last bit of juice out of the aging architecture. The MX110 and MX130 are both based on a 28 nanometer transistor design and come in the same 25 watt TDP as their current mobile GPU. The MX130 comes packed with 384 CUDA cores, running at a base clock of 1122 MHz and a boost of 1242. It comes with 2 GB of GDDR5, or strangely, DDR3? While we don't have any real benchmarks or reviews, NVIDIA does state that it's 2.5 times faster than Intel's integrated 620. Moving to the MX110, as the name implies, it's not the most powerful of the two. This chip comes with 256 CUDA cores running at a base clock of 965 MHz and a boost of 993. The MX110 only comes with 2 GB of DDR3, and NVIDIA claims it's 1.5 times faster than Intel's UHD 620, which isn't exactly much to brag about for a dedicated graphics card if we're gonna be honest. Either way, while that does it for today's video, what do you think of NVIDIA's newest mobile GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to subscribe and check out the GamerMail Discord server to talk all things hardware and gaming. That's in the description below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.